Hello YouTube! I am Pinstar and this is Mega Aquarium Strategy and Tactics Episode 16. So in our last episode we got some uh, some of our peeps up and running. Oh yeah, one of our uh, one of my viewers pointed out that we've had this young uh, young lady trapped back there for quite some time. Sorry about that, ma'am. Um, enjoy a, a, a enjoy a, a, an orange juice not on the house. Uh, please, please pay for it. Thank you. All right then. So, um, off screen, I did a little bit of rearranging of our some of our staff members to uh, uh, make sure that some of our things are fixed up. Um, because yeah, this is this is no bueno right here. Um, um, with the the heater going down and what have you. Like all these went down at one point, uh, and I realized that oh no, that's not good. Um, luckily we've got, uh, I, I rearranged things so that we had a dedicated, uh, fixer in the midst over here. As you can see, yeah, everything went down at the same time, which is problematic. Uh, I mean, we've got, we've got a good fixer here. Um, they're, they're, they're going at it, but yeah, that's, that is problematic. And I, I am starting to see um, the wisdom of, uh, of that, uh, of, 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 uh, no, not having, uh, ha of having extra redundancies. Uh, did we lose anybody? We did lose one Adolfo's quarry. Um, dang, I was trying to prevent, uh, trying, trying to prevent that, but we can get another Adolfo's quarry in there. Slender Seahorse coming up. All right, I think uh, I think we have uh, what we need for our next tank. Um, now, one of the things I was looking at is I want to do all of our corals, um, and one of them is going to be in one of these smaller tanks, uh, but another one could be another Creasel tank. Um, because the Creasel tank, these things... Um, oh, well, hang on, cannot be... Uh, yeah, no, actually, no, uh, it has to be another non-invert. So maybe not with that with the creasel tank so we should find something that likes it small uh like the discus here the discus wow triple triple high feeding requirement although no that there's fresh water we need we need something small um that's uh salt water uh but still very fancy um like this Active Swimmer, 20, 24. We can get a 24 small tank. Wimps, that's fine. Need five of them. We can do that. Yeah, the Purple Queen. We can do the Purple Queen. Right then. Uh, let's uh, let's replace that Adolfo's Cory that we lost here. Oh, that's why we lost him. Um, the uh, RO... The uh, person, the art person's not fixing the RO machine. Why, why aren't you fixing the RO membrane? Who is, who is the acid zones uh, repair person? All right, Megalite, good. Uh, let's go back to our roots and get some Froyo. I do like me some Froyo. Yeah, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oop. Okay, so that's all empty now. But hang on, let me let me check my uh, let me check my uh, oh, so I made a new seahorse zone all the way over here uh, to keep up with our seahorses uh, and assigned a new person there, David. Um, acid zone. Who who all is in acid zone? Um, feeding, fixing, Boyd, Boyd. Why, Boyd, are you not? doing your thing. Do you have some sort of compulsion against, um, and he very, mal, he very well may have that left over, um, a compulsion against, uh, difficult items. Let's, let's take a look at you, Boyd. So if I have some old orders left on you, that could be bad. Yeah, you're idle. Um, yeah, you have compulsions against, uh, the hard stuff. That's why you're not Replacing the RO membrane. That's my fault, boy. Old rules. You're you've been idle for quite some time. That's been the problem. 
Alright, Boyd, where where are you? You're fixing that. Okay. Well, um please prioritize that one, please. Zivu play. Uh, because we don't need all of our guys dying. That was our problem from before. Um, aggressive territorial behavior. Oh yeah, these things have bred too much. And they've taken uh, taken over the tank. Uh, but we just sell one of them. And that fixes the problem. Uh, and then the rest of it's just about getting them fed. Alright, let's 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 do something here. Let's let's expand this area here. Um, we could do we could do something like along here. I'm liking I'm liking along here, uh, and we could probably fix it up and, and hook it up to like something like here. Right then. So in my whole let's not reuse the tanks um, uh, thing, let's go for a wall tank, and we're gonna go for a max size wall tank. This isn't a deep wall tank. This is just a regular wall tank. I'm actually purposely going for a smaller tank here because the lights are expensive uh, for the type of corals that we want. Um, they're very, very expensive. Um, so we don't want that to be too huge. Um, so a smaller tank is, is fine for our purposes. Oops. That's better. Okay. Now then, let's let's get our coral. Let's start with the plate coral. Plate coral, so we can get our quest now. We need six of them. All right, so we need level 15 lights or better, stony corals, um, and yeah, worth a healthy amount of ecology. So plate corals, one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. And since there's room for six more, we might as well do six more of another coral. Now, the sun, the sun coral over here requires more. Um, hmm. That's pointing me in the direction of the staghorn coral in that case, because that way we can, um, yeah, we could get the, uh, we can get this thing into its even into another even brighter tank, and that way we don't have to spring for level 20 lights. We can just get level 15 lights. So let's go staghorn. All right. Now, if I remember correctly, there is a machine that helped these things out, these corals out. Uh, yes, the calcium reactor specifically increases coral growth. Yes. So one calcium reactor into that tank. That makes sense to me. Uh, we also want the large light that will provide the light needed. Uh, that's what, a 30, size 30 tank? Let's go for the power combi that gives us 40 points of heating. Um, and then uh, for our last bit here, we could go for the triple filter here. I mean, it is a smaller tank. These are all 28s. Um, yeah, that seems to do the trick. All right, now let's get our seahorses in place. Because um, we're gonna have something swimming around in there to make use of the tank space. Uh, right then, so yeah, two to four. So size 30, so assuming four. Uh, we can get seven of these guys in here, and that's, that's fine by me. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. With a little room left over, but that's okay. We don't need to. We don't need to. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! You guys need plants. Hmm. You guys need plants. That's problematic. What is the most efficient way we can get plants here? Um. You can get eighteen plants. And how big is this? That's, we could only do one type of coral if we do the plants. But you know what? That kind of makes sense in here, in this particular case. So, yeah, you know what? We're going to do it. We're going to do it. Um, so we'll, we'll, we'll save the staghorn coral for another tank. 
Uh, we will get that massive piece of plant here, this thing, which also comes with 25 uh, uh, power in for it. Um, and then I think the, the answer here is we just trim one of the slender seahorses. Uh, because that should... Yeah, now they have 18 of 18. Um, stress from being housed with species of... Oh! You don't even like the corals, you little fussy pants. Well, for Pete's sake. Well, all right. All right, fine. All right, you know what? This sounds crazy. We'll take out the light and we'll take out the corals. Well, we're going to move the corals to another tank is what we're going to do. We're going to get another small tank here. Um, let's go for the observer tank. big area for this observer tank. I mean, it's not going to be that big of a tank all said and done, but at the very least we can let people have a nice view of it. Let's get this filthy toilet out of here. Alright, we can get you here. So we have a nice contiguous back line here. All right. Um, so you, my friends, this may be a tank where we just want the corals. So maybe we do want the staghorns. might as well and then if we can find a fish that likes in there and doesn't de uh, demand its own purity tank um, then yeah we'll do uh, there's, there's the stag horns let's get the level 15 lights for you guys um, oh yeah let's move coral uh, grower over here, because that makes sense for it now. Um, I do like this little, this little, uh, the, the, the combi here. Um, this thing, the power combi. Although I guess we could do it, um, let's see if it's more efficient to just do a pure heater. A power heater. And then do the uh, the triple. Uh, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, since this provides so much nitrate reacting, let's actually get the triple filter over here. Not quite for you. Just barely not quite. That's unfortunate. I wonder if we can stick some scavengers in the tank. Do we have some good scavengers? Um, I, I know we have those, um, one of those starfish in our, um, yeah, the marbled starfish. Although you need rocks, though. That's, that's no good. Um, who else? What other, um, the hermit crab's actually pretty good. We could just toss a few. I mean, I know we already have um, four of these in the, in the thing, and they're not exactly a, uh, a high-value uh, species to go throwing in there. But you know what? You know, cleanup duty is cleanup duty. But then again, we are going to need more mechanical things because these things are going to grow and pollute the tank more. Um, so we might as well just go for there. Oh. Uh, 
what's a good, uh, you could go for the, for two triple filters here. And that's just overdoing it a bit though, in my opinion. Oh, the UV lamp. I forgot about the UV lamp. That's our fourth kind of, um, uh, fourth kind of uh, sanitizer here. Get the UV lamp in there. Hmm? Access to this is kind of... Oh, yeah, nobody can actually get to it to feed. Ha! Huh. Okay. Uh, that, uh, let, let's open you up for feeding. We'll just open you up, put you here, and we'll get a door here. There you go, folks. Two tanks for the price of one. Um, actually, we can get that. We can get our seventh seahorse back in there now, because we can just put the extra plants elsewhere in this tank. Oh, what's a good one? Sea grapes, asparagus weed, asparagus weed. Here, enjoy your asparagus weed. All right, now we're going to want to expand our zone here. Um, our seahorse zone to include all of this lovely stuff back here. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's taking that away. I don't want to take it away. I want to add these. Thank you. There we go. All right, now let's get let's take care of food needs here. Um, this is gonna might be a bit much for David to handle. Um, we may need an additional feeder to be hired for this place. Feeding, Kiki. You're okay. I mean, actually, you're pretty good. So, all right, Kiki, you're in. Uh, Kiki, you're going to get assigned to the seahorse zone with David. Perfect. Okay. Um, I have a feeling we're going to need a bunch more zooplankton. Like a metric F-ton more zooplankton. I might put in two boxes of this stuff just because of how much these things are going to eat. Um, and then we need a thing of supplements. Man, everybody needs these supplements. Uh, and then a thing of this, uh, a bucket of this stuff. Uh, which actually goes well with the zooplankton that we're, we're going in here. Um, let's see. Artemia culture. Yes, that was the one. Live Artemia, yeah. And then we just need the supplement. Thankfully, we have enough money for a supplement cabinet for all the expensiveness that these things are. Perfect. Okay, I think we're good to unpause. Got all the yeah, we got everything there. Let's move some of our creature comforts around. We move these two back here. And yeah, popular tank. Red tail catfish. Nothing else has permanently died. That's a good thing. You fix that RO machine? Good. Um, our, yeah, the Aldolfo's Cory is actually kind of distressed right now because I think they're short one. They're short a whole bunch. Wow, we lost a bunch of the Aldolfo's Corys. 
This whole tank got shorted out. Damn! It's probably been that problem for a while. Okay, we need to repopulate our acid tank because this uh, this has gone south. Um, butterfly rams, yeah. Well, the butterfly rams are fine. Fan shrimp are fine. The Adolfo's quarries need repopulation. Do we have the Adolfo's quarry, or is that a trade? That was a trade. Alright, well, we'll, we'll uh, as soon as we finish here, we'll get those quarries back. In fact, I think what I might do is um, get rid of the two that we have and then re reapply them when we have that. What's your problem now? Oh yeah, you need a diversity of species, okay. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Congo Tetra? Yeah, we never actually got around to placing them. Well maybe we have a we have some new friends for you. Um yeah, you fill all the all the requirements here, so yeah, go Congo Tetra. Yeah, that, that RO machine priority mess up was, was, was the main cause of that. Alright, big talks. Good. Nobody else dying. Zephyr, you keeping up with the sharks alright? Don't fall in. We need ya. Um, our big tank is doing pretty well so far. Worms. We're just, we're just waiting for feeders. What are you supposed to be? Uh, lead mysis shrimp. Oh yeah, that's the uh, that's the other thing. We need we need the live mysis shrimp um, in in this zone here. Going to oh you're getting the other no you're getting that to feed that all right well somebody use the live mice or shrimp please all right I think our acid zone's actually taken care of now once uh, once we get this fish going then we can um, now I forget do you have any uh, require you do have you do have requirements for rocks so we might need to just sort of hybridize you. Which we can do. We can do. But let's get the Eldal. I think the... Yeah, you're way back here. We're just going to knock you out real quick. Alright, good. We got people getting fed. Let me just scan for death here. Little death symbols here. No? Good. Everyone getting fed? Good. Yeah, what's the w with our with our aquarium getting this big? It, this is where where it gets a little hairy. All right, it all feels Corey. Excellent. Let's get back to the big boys. Um, angel shark. We're gonna need another. We're gonna need a bigger tank if we're gonna get that. But no, the spotted eagle ray, I think, is a good candidate for our. Uh, tank here because we were looking for to get that in a trade there's our base uh, prestige excellent all right we got some level ups here fixing good abigail um you know what why don't you learn feeding it's a hybridize JC, um, 
Yeah, get get you some feeding. Am I missing any other? Oh, we're missing a whole bunch of other skill ups here. Giant hatchet fish also died. Uh, I need to replace them. Yeah, that was that was pretty bad right there. I I will I will admit that, that was a that was a failure on my part. But let's get those hatchet fish back in action here, because those those were some high value fish. Um, unless we need to, yeah get them. All right, well, let's get the quarries in there. Adolfo's quarry, five of them. All right, that seems to be doing pretty well. We'll, uh, we'll look at what the hatchet fish need to see if we can squeeze them back into place. All right, any new, uh, any new news here? Panko, yeah, you keep feeding, my friend. went to fetch yeah zooplankton and that is zooplankton yeah those are the correct dispensers oh they can't get to them or at least not efficiently let's 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 make things efficient we like efficiency around here yes yes yeah, this one will be for feeding the corals. This one will be feeding the the, the uh, accoutrement here. There we go. Oh yeah, we do need to get a toolbox here um, if we're going to have a local repair uh, person doing their thing. Please do fix those up before they thaw. Excellent. Um, yeah, right, you're fixing the heater. All right, just making sure. Zafira, you got you, you under control? Zafira, where are you? Zafira! All right, there's the spotted eagle ray. Um, let's get the... Uh, Angel shark, just for the hell of it. <laughs> All right, so the spotted eagle ray, this thing, which is the saltwater. This thing should be pretty good for us. We just need to keep an eye on conflicts here. Let's pause. So spotted eagle ray. Um, we need at least three of them, and they are not in a happy place. That's not. Oh, that's not a, considered a rounded tank. Okay. Um. Then let's back off on that. I thought that this thing it was a, a rounded tank, but I, I stand corrected. All right. The stat. The, the eagle ray is is not go. Uh, let me just see if I've got any others. Not the horse I jack. We got the humpback snappers in there. I don't think we have any other big boys that can play in there safely without eating everybody. OK, 
Achilles sturgeon, surgeon fish, but we, I think we have those in here, right? No. Oh, do we have the, yeah, we have the, the grouper. We have that grouper. That grouper's too small. He'll get eaten. Um, and then, yeah, we got the purple queen that we gotta make use of, but we will make use of her in our next episode. Um, so, uh, if you guys like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment. Good, bad, or indifferent, your feedback is always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar signing out. See ya!